Lots of riders now being distanced by the tempo that's being set on this final climb. We reach the top of this with about two kilometers to go, then slightly downhill, then a drag up to the finish. You can see the finish from a long, long way out. So Micah goes, another big acceleration from Rafael Micah as he stays in on the wheel. Good move by Micah. And another big move on the right-hand side, a big acceleration from the Movi Star team. Also up there, Simon Yates is uh, following the wheels as well. So a big attack there from uh, Ivan Romeo and another big attack on the right-hand side. This looks like Finn Fisher Black. Finn Fisher Black really makes the acceleration now. The New Zealander goes for glory. Simon Yates makes a pounce. He goes as well. Also up there from the team of uh, Sudal Quickstep is uh, Willem Lechev from Belgium. And look at the stretch now. Looks like Maui Kudus is up there as well. Simon Yates swinging across the road. Another big acceleration in the middle, and it's Pierre Latour. Mike is going to try and jump across now for the UAE team Emirates. There's Yates. We're getting a battle of the possible winners of the Alou Latour. Look at Pierre Latour go. Simon Yates jumping across. On his wheel is uh, Rafael Mike. Then on the wheel also coming across to try and take the victory I think is uh, possibly Sobrero but Pierre Latour is looking strong 1.2 kilometers of racing to go and Yates is having to do the chasing there's still a lot of riders in here with a chance everybody looks around at each other even Romeo is up there for the Movistar team, but Latour with one kilometre to go. A massive acceleration on the right-hand side from one of the Bora Hansgrohe riders trying to get across to Pierre Latour. But has Latour timed this to absolute perfection? So many times we've seen Latour almost take victories. We know he's descending. He just uh, is having a terrible time. But Latour on a punchy finish like this could be absolutely perfect. Soren Varenskold is there with his Uno X team. They're trying to line this one up, but Latour has still got a little bit of an advantage for Total Energy. It looks like the style of Nico Dents. Have Uno X got enough? 500 meters to go. It's still Pierre Latour of Total Energy. He is still there. He is still holding on. They're desperately trying to close the gap now. Uno X are trying to fire with Varen Skold. Uh, is Pierre Latour going to get it on the line? It's a furious sprint. Latour is caught. Here goes Soren Varen Skold. Soren Varen Skold all the way to the line. He was the favorite. Varen Skold takes it for Uno X Mobility on the final climb of the day. Well, they were almost a little bit too patient, but he got it in the last few hundred meters. The white jersey takes a second stage win in this Saudi tour, now the Alula tour. He took one last year and he's doubled up. Here's the attack then of Pierre Latour, 300 metres to go and Latour is still there. It drags all the way up towards the finish line and he just looks around with 150. He gets caught by Van Skold as he goes firing past to take the win. Kokar was also up there as well. So was Kasper Van Uden in the green jersey. And it looks like Henok Malaburan of Eritrea, he was also up there in the top places. Heartbreak for Latour, Varenskold timed it perfectly. Second place, it was the Eritrean in ninth, holding on for a top ten. He was the race favourite. He's uh, ridden a perfect race today. 